Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about integration techniques. One of integration techniques is trigonometric substitution. But first I want to recall these formulas that you know very well from trigonometry. Sine square plus cosine square equals 1. 1 minus sine square equals cosine square. 1 plus tangent square equals second square and second square minus 1 equals tangent square. Actually, for trigonometric substitution, we will use these three forms, three types of substitution. Uh, let's uh, see how we substitute. x equals a sine theta replaces a minus x square. Instead of 1, here we have a, just a constant. And this replacement will end up with a square cosine square theta. Uh, a, a, this is how we replace it. Another substitution is x equals a ta times tangent theta. This replaces a square x square by a square uh, second square theta, which is here you say you see instead of one, if you have a, it is the second form. The third form is x, the replacement of x by a second theta. x square minus a square is replaced by a square tangent square theta, which is here, look, x square minus a square, something like that. And this is the third type. But uh, since uh, we, when we make a substitution, we should re-substitute it to obtain the real uh, answer. That's why uh, we should also remember that for reversibility, we have the restrictions when, uh, for the inverse trigonometric functions also here. When we uh, will obtain the results, we have to check if it is right or not. Here, for the first real substitution, for the uh, x equals a tangent theta requires when um, I get theta value from here, theta should be between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. The substitution x equals a sine theta requires minus pi over 2, less or equal to theta and less or equal to pi over 2, which is the uh, domain of inverse sine and here x equals a second theta requires here theta is equal to sec inverse second x over a and range of second inverse second is from 0 to pi over 2 but there is no equality because second is not defined over there inverse second and when x over a is greater than or equal to 1 and when x over a is less or equal to minus 1 then it will range from pi over 2 to pi. Now I will, we will try to solve this integral. As you see here, we have a radical. Inside the radical, we have 4 pi plus x squared. And the derivative of this uh, expression is not on the numerator. Then my aim is to get rid of the radical. That's why I make this substitution as you see here before. The type is, uh, it corresponds to type here, which type? Type 2. Uh, I uh, substitute x by 2 tangent theta and uh, when you make a substitution you have also to write the differential dx equals 2 second square t d theta I, I write, I replace the terms and then from here when you can uh, factorize 4 you end up with 2 second square theta d theta over uh, I factorize and get out from the radical 1 plus tangent square theta, which will be equal here. You can simplify the twos. We have second square theta d theta over, this corresponds to second square theta, we know it from this expression. And then here we have second theta in absolute value since it's out of the radical, but uh, we have to decide if it is positive or negative. Now we will recall what this. Here we made this substitution and the uh, angle uh, uh, should be between minus pi over 2, pi over 2. Second, 
is between minus pi over 2 pi over 2 is always positive because secant is 1 over cosine, cosine is always positive, it should be positive. Then when I write it, I can say that secant is positive for the interval when theta is between minus pi over 2 pi over 2. Okay? Then I write and I simplify and I end up with you have to know the integral of secant theta which is ln secant theta plus tangent theta. Since my integral is individed, I need the constant c here. And then, as I said before, I should replace theta by the second theta by the corresponding uh, value. How I can find it? From here, I have uh, x over 2 is equal to tangent theta. Okay, tangent theta should be replaced by x over 2. And what about second theta? I sketch my triangle always. Here, what is tangent? Opposite side over consecutive side. Here we have 4 plus x square. And what about the second value? Second is uh, hypotenuse over consecutive side. Then we end up with ln radical 4 plus x square over 2 plus Instead of tangent theta, I have x over 2 plus c. And this will be the answer of the integral. Now, we will try to solve this integral. Here, uh, you see that there is a restriction to, for x because we have 9 minus x squared. Uh, the, inside the radical should be different than uh, 0 because it's in the denominator and it should be different than uh, negative number, should be positive. That's why we have this restriction. Let's turn out uh, to the solution of this. Here you have uh, 9 minus x squared. The derivative is not in the numerator. That's why we are looking for the formula that we, uh, or one of the formulas that we learned before. Here is a minus x squared. A, we replace x by 3 sine theta. Uh, and we remember the restriction of theta uh, because uh, inverse sign is, uh, the, the range of inverse sign is restricted. Uh, minus pi over 2 pi over 2. Uh, when I make a substitution, I should also write the differential dx equals 3 cosine theta d theta. Here, uh, when I replace here, I obtain 9 cosine square theta. Then I replace, replace it in the integral. Here, instead of x to the power 3, uh, 27 sine 3 theta. And instead of dx, I will write this one, 3 cosine theta d theta. And the denominator will be here, from here, the same. And I make some uh, simplification and I obtain this. But how to solve now sine to the power 3 in the integral? I split sine, sine square and sine and then I replace sine square by 1 minus cosine square. I multiply it and the sine, the integral of sine theta is cosine theta and here if I replace, I substitute cosine square by u, u square, the, uh, the derivative sign is uh, beside, then uh, this will be, the integral will be equal to cosine to the power 3. And uh, I did all the computations, very straightforward, but uh, let's have a look um, how i uh, after this, I should replace cosine theta by its equivalent uh, in terms of x. Uh, from here, I can find that sine theta is equal to x over 3. And from my triangle, I found that cosine theta is uh, radical 9 minus x squared over 3. I replace and I obtain the final solution. 
Now I want to uh, solve the third problem, the third part, uh, type of problem. Here, as you see, we have in the denominator uh, 25 x squared minus 4. That's why we have a restriction. Uh, the radical should be positive. And then uh, this is the third type when we have uh, the second substitution of second. But it's not the same type that we did be, we see before. First, we have to factorize 25 because we know that x squared minus a squared, something like that. That's why, first of all, we should factorize it. We we'll obtain the type, the form of uh, second substitution. And we substitute x by 2 over 5 seconds, se theta. dx, 2 over 5, the, the derivative of second is second tangent theta d theta. And replacing, I obtain this. I replace it on the integral, the dx by this, and uh, all the substitution here, I replace them. I simplify them, and then I obtain this. Here, uh, as you see, when I make the substitution, I already write it the restriction of theta, which is 0 pi over 2. And I know that tangent theta is greater than 0. And this interval is valid for x greater than a, which is 2 over 5 here. Uh, then, since tangent theta is positive, it can get out from the radical as positive, and I can simplify them. I obtain this. And you know the integral of second theta is ln second plus tangent theta. Now I should replace the second theta by the uh, related x value. And uh, from this substitution, I obtain that second theta is equal to 5x over 2. And I sketch my triangle, and I obtain that tangent theta is equal to radical 25x minus 4 over 2. I replace, and I obtain the res result of the integral. Thank you for listening me. I hope that this video will help on this subject. Uh, if you want to learn more, you have to read the book and uh, look for other references. Thank you for listening me.